my current big ass battery charger. As you guys can see, I am slowly improving uh, my stainless ones every time I go around. Rectifiers stay nice and cool, attach to the stainless box, dissipate the heat fairly well. Uh, we got uh, eight. 80 uh, uh, millifarad uh, capacitors. Um, I did the uh, foam quite a bit better now. Instead of doing it all in one shot, I did it in uh, layers. A little bit each crack. And uh, that way I had minimal overexpansion. And the little bit I did have, I just uh, took a nice big knife and just really gently uh, sliced it even. Very happy with how this one turned out. I got the uh, multimeter foamed in there as well, nice and secure. Still haven't done the best way of doing the timer through the side yet, but it, it works. Uh, a little screw up there, but for how much charging power this guy's getting for the price, he shouldn't complain. leads. We wanted uh, a couple ring terminals put on. And yes, because I've had some people ask me, the stainless boxes are grounded. So that way if something the wire does let loose, it will ground it to the electrical grid of the, or the system of the house, ground it down to the ground, 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 ground. And that's it. This is the latest one. Uh, this one should, uh, is going to be charging a, I think he said about 350 amp hour, could have been 500 amp hour, I forgot which one he said, uh, at se uh, 72 volt pa battery pack, so it's going to be a beefy system. Not really ticked off though. <laughs> I had ordered uh, 20 of these buggers. Now this is supposed to be, uh, this is a bridge rectifier that we need, converts the AC to DC. This is supposed to be 50 amp, 1000 volt rectifiers. I get them, don't look quite right. You notice uh, there isn't as much uh, acrylic compound to secure everything. It's in there pretty deep. My 30 ampers that I had were almost all the way up to the top. Okay, no big deal. Give them a try. Well, they worked fine on my single cap charger, my, uh, uh, I forgot where I put it. My Old Faithful, if you guys have seen it, the one that I uh, used to just do regular uh, motorcycle batteries and whatnot. Let's see. That's where I got it from, of course, China. Big surprise. It's the only place I can find, uh, get these in. Or the only place that makes them really and uh, worked fine on my single cap charger mind you uh, the steel you know the high capacity charger that's charging my alpha uh, uses a 30 amp rectifier which is the older ones I had that I had bought in locally works fine built this charger plug it in works for five seconds and that's it done Try another one, plug it in, works for a couple seconds, done. Well, I don't think these really are 50 amp. I think they're more of about 5. So I got screwed over. It's been too long. I don't even know what seller on eBay I got these from. I figured they worked because I put them, put them on my other charger and it, they worked. So apparently they did fine on that, but uh, with 8 caps this sucker puts out a lot of juice. There you have it, the latest one. See you next video.